Ethereum price prediction. How high can Ethereum go in this market cycle? Now, so far, Ethereum has had a parabolic 2021, and to think that Ethereum was only $389 precisely just a year ago and it's currently at three thousand five hundred dollars which makes for an explosive 878 percent gain now i make a variety of videos but i do love a nice price prediction every now and then but keep in mind that no one can time the market and no one really knows what the actual price of ethereum will be but it's always fascinating to look at the price performance fundamentals and where the price is likely to settle based on history from time to time so in this video, we are going to look at the rationale for these price predictions, the bear case and bull case for Ethereum, price predictions for Ethereum, and how high can Ethereum actually go. And towards the end of the video, I'll reveal how much Ethereum you need to have in order to see a significant return for the end of the year. So as always, if you enjoy content like this, then be sure to give this video a like and subscribe for more. Now we're going to base this prediction of the stock to flow model, as it's one of the best ways to predict the price of crypto since the very start of cryptocurrency. Here's the full price graph as well as the real Bitcoin price over the projected price. There is also a color code for the pricing points according to how far away they are from a halving event. So as you can see here, the pricing has done a fairly good job at mapping out the model over the last nine years. It also appears to be overpriced or underpriced at times, but like some sort of magnetic force, it always returns to normal. So back in March of this year, Bitcoin aligned with the stock to flow model for the first time. This occurred at a time when Bitcoin was trading at around $61,000. Since then, however, Bitcoin has continued to move away from the model's projected price and the situation has gone downward and sideways for the most part. But according to this model, Bitcoin will reach a six-figure price by the end of 2021 and that's a 2x or roughly a 2.5x and in the past, we've accomplished a lot more in one or two months. So now let's put that same model on Ethereum's price. But first, we need to look at the history as that is going to give us the price projections to determine where Ethereum's price will end up. Now, during the last bull run in November, Ethereum was at around $300 and it ended up at $1,300. And that's a 4x. And that was in less than two months. So the whole market as a whole did a 4x, some altcoins even did a 10x or 20x. But if we see Bitcoin do a 2x from here, which according to the stock to flow model puts it at $100,000, and the previous high of Ethereum was $4,300, and we apply a 2x multiple to the high from $4,300, then that would put Ethereum at $8,600, and that is definitely very doable in this market cycle since Bitcoin will be hitting $100,000. Now, with that being said, look at the yearly performance for Ethereum as it has been outperforming Bitcoin. And if we look at the past history from Ethereum during the last bull cycle of 2017, then Ethereum can easily do a 3x from its all-time highs, putting the price at roughly $12,000. So then we can expect Ethereum's price to be anywhere between $10,000 and $15,000. So then the stock to flow model is predicting that Bitcoin is going to hit $100,000, which that alone is pretty amazing, which means that we are going to see a lot more moves coming along. And if all altcoins for now follow Bitcoin and some even beat Bitcoin's trend, then we can also expect Ethereum to outperform Bitcoin, which will give Ethereum a price target of $10,000 to $15,000. Now this price prediction might be a little different from other videos you have seen where they talk about Ethereum going to $25,000 or even $35,000. But we need to keep in mind that the market value of Ethereum, which is currently at $425 billion with approximately 170 million coins in circulation and payment processing companies like Visa and MasterCard who have market caps of nearly $475 billion and $341 billion. Now, even though we might not see a $35,000 Ether by the end of this market cycle, we might actually see that in the next bull run 
that's to come in the next three years because Ether supply will drop as the network's scalability improves and the new economic structure of Ether takes place. Given that Ethereum 2.0 is expected to arrive at the end of the year or early 2022, we are going to experience a massive supply shock crisis for Ethereum only 18 months after Bitcoin's halving. In this case, if you're like me and are thinking about investing in Ethereum for the long term, then the current price of Ethereum is extremely undervalued. The increased Ether supply is expected to be deflationary in the long run, which will provide a 10x opportunity and Ether's greater stock to flow ratio implies a multi-trillion market value at that level. And if we apply the stock to flow model again and apply the same historic principles to determine Ethereum's price for the end of this current market cycle, then we can expect Ethereum to be between 25,000 to 35,000 by sometime in 2024, assuming a cautious 2% annual inflation rate and a 10x return on today's Ethereum pricing. So with all that optimistic pricing out of the way, we need to go over what could potentially bring Ethereum's price down and never be able to reach those prices. Well, we need to keep in mind that there are other smart contracts platforms like Cardano or Solana, which might steal market share from Ethereum. These platforms are building comparable decentralized environment networks and some claim that they will someday exceed Ethereum's. Furthermore, rising levels of regulation may have an impact on Ethereum's price. Recent occurrences have shown that the US and European officials are interested in closely monitoring internet transactions and determining if some behaviors within them may be illegal. Lastly, Ethereum 2.0 may never come to life, and Vitalik could just delay the merge even further, causing every media news outlet out there and crypto Twitter to create tons of FUD. Which by the way, if you're not following me on Twitter, then be sure to do so. But we have to keep in mind that Ethereum's ecosystem is expected to continue expanding and improving as the centralized and blockchain platforms become more popular, cheaper and even more secure than centralized alternatives like banks. Furthermore, recent upgrades to the Ethereum blockchain, such as the London hard fork, show us that Ethereum is working towards becoming the better blockchain and the blockchain of choice for the majority of DeFi projects, gaming, exchanges, and much more. And the much anticipated Ethereum 2.0 update is scheduled to be released pretty soon, significantly boosting Ethereum's transactions per second and lowering their transaction fees. So then the blockchain will switch from a proof of work to a proof of stake protocol by validating transactions with the upgrade. Not only that, but this is not only going to benefit the network, but it's also going to promote a more ecological responsible mining method. So now that you have a better idea of what the price can be for Ethereum this market cycle and why it can reach that price, let's have more fun and see how much Ethereum you need to become a millionaire at today's prices. So at today's price of $3,500, you would need approximately $250,000 to make $1 million if Ethereum does a 4X from here. That would also mean that you would need about 69 Ether. So in my opinion, based on the stock to flow model and based on past historical projections, I can conclude that Ethereum will be between $10,000 and $15,000 if Bitcoin can do a 2X before the end of the year. Now, personally, I prefer Ethereum as a long-term investment, and I believe that it has the potential to become one of the most successful cryptocurrencies in the future. After all, out of the hundreds of cryptocurrencies out there, we are only going to end up with a handful of them eventually, maybe in the next decade, but who knows? But one thing's for sure, Ethereum is here to stay. And there are actually a number of variables in Ethereum's favor. It's currently backed by a number of institutions and its founder, Vitalik Buterin, is well known in the crypto industry and was just named one of the most influential people by Times Magazine. Ethereum is also the blockchain of choice for developing decentralized applications. Ethereum 2.0 will also bring a significant upgrade allowing it to process more transactions while using less energy. And Ethereum has also been the second largest cryptocurrency for some years now, despite its volatility. And some even believe that it's one of the cryptocurrencies that's going to overtake Bitcoin in the long run. But I want to know your thoughts down in the comments below. Do you think Ethereum can reach $10,000 this year? 
Or did we already see the peak for Ethereum when it was $4,300? And if you're considering Ethereum as a long-term investment, it's virtually hard and impossible to time the crypto market or any market. But if you plan on buying now, selling your profits and then buying back in later, then you might lose some money. Ethereum's price might continue to rise for weeks or even months and then it could fall down. And I would not be buying Ethereum if you're just looking to make quick profits. However, if you believe it has the long-term potential and want to give it at least a few years, it's a good investment to have and, and that more than likely has the potential to change your life. But remember that it's just not financial advice. And if you made it to the end of the video, then don't forget to only invest money that you can afford to lose and always do your own research before investing in cryptocurrency. Use this video as another way to add on to your research tools. And with that in mind, do not forget to grab up to $500 worth of free cryptocurrency using my links down below and four free stocks. Also, follow me on Instagram and also Twitter. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time.